Tio, please. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. This will be my last Duna video, perhaps for a while, because I'm doing probably the most fun that I could have. Having the most fun I could possibly have on Duna, and that's by sending a piloted helicopter. So I really enjoyed the small helicopter that I sent in a previous mission. So I decided let me put, send something bigger where I could seed a couple Kerbals and some experiments, maybe some uh, some space for cargo, and this would be a pretty neat uh, vehicle for hopping around the surface and doing some other things on Duna. So uh, there you see my typical launch and transfer, etc. I'm circularizing around Duna. Let me see if I can come in right on top of the uh, the surface station area and the ascent. Was, uh, I'm sorry, Descent was, was pretty straightforward, and I think this was only the second or third attempt, and the reason I quick saved and, and reloaded was just because I wasn't getting quite close enough to the to the landing zone. But uh, go ahead and deploy my parachutes nice and high in the atmosphere. Also, uh, I think another reason I had to quick save, load my quick save is I wanted to ditch the parachutes and just start flight from uh from this position but i realized uh, i should just go all the way down to the surface because as soon as i ditched my parachutes some of my controls and stuff weren't functioning and i crashed so <laughs> if i could touch down safely like i just did i will quick save here and i can continue the video the mission so uh i'm pretty happy with the design the uh the whole vehicle kind of looks like a hornet in my opinion like a wasp or something but um uh, as you can see, I went with a, a pair of uh, rotors, and uh, each rotor has, uh, or each rotor assembly, I should say, has a pair of rotors uh, rotating in opposite directions so that I can be stable. And each of the rotor assemblies also is connected to the main fuselage with a, a servo, and that allows me to pitch forward, and um, I can fly forward without uh, having to pitch the whole vehicle. So, like my Kerbal inside in theory, would be more comfortable. <laughs> he would be uh, sitting almost horizontal while the vehicle is still continuing to uh, fly forward. So let me see if I can land this thing close to the surface station. And then uh, I can scoop up a scientist and go perform some, uh, some survey scanning. The little survey scanning arm that I put on my rover didn't get to be used because the uh, rover is a piece of shit. So let's... Uh, Let's try to use this landing at night so you get to get to show off my lights. There's my experiments in the back. I've also got a, a, a container for some cargo. So pretty, pretty handy vehicle with lots of different functions. So I got my batteries all charged up. Everything's electric, which is nice. I don't have to refuel. And you see my little tilt action. And let's go ahead and load up my scientist. I extend my ladder and uh, test my ladder for the first time, actually. Sometimes uh, the ladders and climbing with Kerbals can be uh, an issue. And there you see, for whatever reason, I, I'm pressing the F key. I'm trying to, to jump on top and it won't let me. So let me just uh, use my EVA pack and fly on top of this thing. Retract the, the ladder and let's go off in search of something interesting to scan. So I'm not super familiar with all the scannable objects in KSP. There's usually rocks and craters and what have you. So I'm going to go find a rock formation on doing it a scan and get some science, which is absolutely useless in sandbox mode. There's a big formation there and there's a little one. So let me see if I can land next to the little one. And uh, I can use my wheels and my little tilt rotor action to get closer to the formation. So I don't have to land right next to it, which is nice. I did kind of think of that whenever I chose to make this thing uh, uh, helicopter as opposed to just a ginormous rover. There you see my scanning arm. Yep. Science, instant science. So that's it for the for the design of the Hornet, as I'm calling it. Successful flight on Duna. It was a lot of fun. Uh, not a, not a successful landing here in a second, as you'll see, but uh, <laughs> definitely a fun video to make. Hope hope you guys en enjoyed my little mini Duna series. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button. Appreciate you tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next time.